Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be my spring capsule wardrobe. Now, you may have already noticed, but there's a little bit of colour creeping on through. And for some reason, the last couple of years, I've just really enjoyed adding a little bit of colour when it comes to spring and summer. I'm getting a bit more comfortable in my style, being able to add those little hints of colour into my wardrobe without being like, full blown because in my head it was very much that you were neutral camp or you were color camp there was no like crossover in between and i've started to realize there's really easy ways that i can incorporate a little bit more color into my wardrobe while still keeping it fairly neutral fairly black and white and fairly easy to mix and match and to style so as you can see, there's quite a few pieces on this rail. With every capsule wardrobe, I would say just make with it what you want to make with it. So if you are someone who really likes floral dresses, for example, your capsule wardrobe might well include a floral dress. However, I don't personally wear them. So this is mine. Obviously get a bit of inspiration here and there. All the links and stuff will be down below if you want them. But please take this with a pinch of salt and just know that not every capsule wardrobe needs to look like this. This is just my personal preference and to show you the ways that you can really easily mix and match different pieces. So for example, if you were someone who really likes a floral dress, you could maybe mix that in instead of like a cardigan or something like that. But if you want to check out my year round capsule wardrobe, which I just recently filmed, make sure you head back and check that one out because I basically showed you the core 20, I think it was, pieces that are in my capsule wardrobe that just last year round some of those i would still technically include into this video i just didn't want to make it too samey so i've tried to mix in a couple of other pieces just in case you've seen both but that is kind of my core lasting year round capsule wardrobe that i just constantly keep coming back to so all of those pieces like the abercrombie bodysuit which we know i love i always always rave about them i haven't put them in this video purely for the fact they're in every single capsule wardrobe video that i ever do so you're not going to see them in this but just know that they would be there but i'm going to start with accessories and share with you a couple of little bits and pieces that i would say are quite a big staple in my capsule wardrobe just little things that i think are very key to making my outfits at this time of year so first up we're going to go with bags and it's no surprise to anyone that Songmont bags are my absolute favorites i wear them all the time i love them you guys have seen my black and cream ones so 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 often in my past videos and i actually have two new song want bags that i know are going to be great for adding in this spring too now both of these are the mont collection which is a gorgeous gorgeous printed collection that comes in this beautiful cream as well as a darker colorway there's a few different shapes of bag and i picked these two because i thought not only are they really classic gorgeous prints that will go with everything that i'm showing you in my capsule wardrobe but they're also really good styles to have first one is this little shoulder bag which is so cute because it's so diddy it's just the perfect little underarm bag that fits a big iphone in it. it also fits like my camera and stuff i've used this one already and i really like the fact that i can fit my g7x camera my phone my keys my lipstick and my card wallet which is all i ever really need to carry around if you're someone who prefers to carry around a little bit more every day then maybe go for something a bit bigger my kindle just to let you know you would not fit in here that is the only thing that would not fit. But I think if I was going on a longer trip, I wouldn't necessarily use this one anyway. The strap is really cute. So this is actually adjustable, which I kind of love. So it's got these little hooks, which you can see here, and you can either have the shorter strap or you can add this piece and make it into a longer strap that then goes cross body. So you literally just unhook this, tie this one on, and then it makes it a little bit longer to go around your body or as a longer shoulder strap. I'll show you in the cutaway so you can see what it looks like. Songwon is an affordable price point for the quality and the style of them. I think they're really, really gorgeous. If you are someone who doesn't want to spend thousands of pounds on really good quality bags, these are honestly such fab quality. And I think arguably some of the best bags that I own, and I've got many bags from many different places, but the Songwon ones, as we know, are the ones I keep going back to and then the other bag that i've got is the same collection same print and everything but it's just the tote style and i blooming love this i not only love the fact that it's like a really nice big size it's a perfect colorway for spring summer so this would be good if you go on holiday and stuff as well as like you know just wearing out and about with like a trench coat really relaxed outfit it fits a laptop in so i have the like normal size macbook fits in here really nicely along with everything else that i could possibly need and the straps on this one are also adjustable as well so you can actually change the length of the strap here and then just under the little flat bit here which is also a pocket so quite handy if you want to just like put something in there like you know a train ticket or something when you don't want to lose it at the bottom of your bag it zips up which is also fab you've got a back pocket and honestly i know i keep going on about it but you guys probably have seen in nearly every single styling video every single time i mention outfits or capsule wardrobes in the weekly vlogs on my instagram i'm always hyping songmon and i really recommend so i'll leave all of the information down in the description box if you want to check them out for these two bags along with my black bag that i wear all the time and my little cream like 
handbag because all of them are really gorgeous and I honestly wear them to death. I really like them and I think they're fab. So those are my two bags for the season that I think are going to be my capsules. I think they're just going to really nicely complement like every single thing on this rail. And I like the fact that they are that really classic, like slightly monogrammed vibe. Like the print is just so beautiful. And they're very, very me, very, very classic. And they're bags that I don't think are ever going to age. They're quite timeless. So they're definitely staying in my wardrobe for the foreseeable. And then the other accessory that I really wanted to show you was this hat and a satin scarf. However, I'm currently puppy sitting and he's out in the hallway. I don't want to disturb him, so I would show you my satin scarf. But this is what it looks like. I just have a vintage Burberry number. Great for tying around your hair, great for tying around your neck, putting around bags and stuff, and a good addition to a spring summer wardrobe. But the other thing that I would say is an absolute classic for me is a cap. Now I know caps are not for everyone, some people love them, some people hate them. I personally really like them, I think they're just a great addition to a wardrobe. They can change up an outfit completely when it comes to styling, and these come in so handy in my everyday life. I wear them with trench coats, I wear them to the gym, I wear them round and about, I wear them to style up an outfit, style down an outfit. I just love them and this one is an oldie from another version. I was going to show you my polo cap which I picked up from Bista Village for a discounted price but I can't find it anywhere. I think it might be in my car so I just thought I'd show you this creamy one instead. Moving on to the rail we're going to get into the clothing. So I've got quite a wide selection here and all things that I know that I'm going to be pulling out a lot. When I've been shooting spring outfits these are the pieces I've really been reaching for so I thought I'd get them all in one video and just give you a little talk through. Most of these are actually from really affordable high street brands however I do have a couple of other bits mixed in which I'll talk you through when I get there. So First things first, we have this cardigan, which is a new one from Cotton On, if you saw my new in video. This is a really good style for this time of year. They did have a brief moment in autumn, and I feel like this style of cardigan is just really coming back at the moment. And I quite like it, because not only can you wear it done up, and it looks quite chic, just, you know, done up, put a little satin scarf in your hair, some jeans, some trailer trousers. It's also a good option to leave undone and just wear over like a nice simple vest. So I definitely think this is going to be styled a lot. The colorway is gorgeous. I think opting for those softer camel tones is a really good one at this time of year. And I just think when you're mixing in different knitwear, as we get into spring, obviously living in England, it can still be quite cold. But when we get into those slightly warmer days, it's quite nice to just have something which is a lighter color, a lighter knit, a little bit softer, a little bit less kind of heavyweight and high necked and just... You know, like the snuggly winter vibes that we love at winter, but we maybe don't need in spring. Then I thought, because it's still spring and it's still got a little bit of a chill in the air, I'd show you this long sleeve top, which I am so, so happy that I got my hands on. And I really want to get another couple of colours. But it's just a little, like, long... It's, it's hard to explain because it's kind of cropped, but it's longer than, like, your typical crop, which I really love because you can kind of ruche it up or wear it a bit longer. And it's just long sleeved, ribbed, super comfortable, really flattering from Cotton On. And I love that it's got this little crew neck as well. I picked this up in a small because I think I like it to be not too, too, too tight, but also not too baggy as well. So it's quite a nice, like, baby tee kind of fit. Love the fact it's long sleeves because, let's be honest, it's not quite t-shirt weather yet but we can still get away with your pieces here and there but I just think it's a good core staple basic I have to admit I would probably wear this in grey and white as well throughout the season but I thought I'd show you black because we all know I'm a bit of a dark gal at heart and I really like having my blacks year round however I did want to show you that I'm mixing up a little bit and I do add a lot more of those softer creamy tones when we get into the warmer months. You also may notice I'm wearing pink. I will link this whole outfit as well. This is also from Cotton On. Really love their knitwear if you want something super affordable. Then moving on, on the rail, we have a pair of tailored trousers. Now, I'm quite a black tailored trousers kind of person, but as we head into spring and summer, I really like opting for those slightly softer, more neutral tones. And I think these are a really great option. So these are from H&M. And if you've seen my videos before, you know I am a sucker for H&M tailoring, H&M knitwear. Like, I just think H&M is really great quality sometimes for the price point. Guaranteed, not always. I think that's the same with any brand. There's always hit and miss pieces, but for the most part, their tailored trousers seem to be a really gorgeous fit on me. I'm five foot four and a size eight, and I find the size smalls or the size eights fit really, really nicely. Sometimes I have to take them up a little bit, but sometimes the length is just perfect. And these ones I've had for a couple of years, they keep coming back out year upon year and they're really flattering. Gorgeous colorway, nice and straight legs. They're not too tight, they're not too wide. Really, really nice. I love them with like trainers and a vest, but equally you can dress them up really nicely as well. So if you're someone who works in an office or you need a bit of a smarter attire for work, this kind of thing is great because it really easily will work into your work wardrobe, but also your like everyday wardrobe as well. Then we've got a striped knit. Now I am 
a bit on the fence with stripes. I love them in certain situations and sometimes I really don't like them. I think they can be a bit overdone. However, if you do them in the right way, they can look really nice. So this kind of stripe knit to me is perfect because it's really oversized, it's cozy, it's soft. I actually really like the blue surprisingly, which is different for me. I don't typically wear too much color, but this one is from Kiwi & Co, which is a gorgeous small brand that I love. You've probably seen them a few times throughout my videos and they're just a really lovely, small business that does really great quality pieces. I specifically really like their knitwear, but they do really nice dresses and skirts and all kinds of it. So I recommend checking them out. But this one in particular, I really like. It's one size, so it can fit a multitude of sizes. Um, and it's just a really nice, soft, cozy knit. Arguably, I think this would look really cute with like little white cycle shorts in like the hotter part of spring, summer. Um, or, you know, chucked over a bikini in the evenings if you're going down to the beach or something. But I've been really enjoying wearing it with like white skirts or jeans or dungarees or various different things. If you check out my other accounts, you'll see me wearing this quite a lot recently. But it's just really gorgeous. And I think mixing up the way that you wear stripes is really good. They actually have this one in a green that I'm dying to get my hands on because I'm such a green person, which always shocks everyone because I'm so neutral. But I really like bright green. I don't know what it is, but green's just... They do something to me. I think they just really nicely match my skin tone and it's the only color I've ever found that I'm like completely in love with. Then I've got a little vest, like cardigan vibe, which I wanted to mention because as much as this is something I would probably wear definitely layered, but more towards the warmer part of the season, it's really, really cute for layering and it's nice for, you know, dressing up an outfit a little bit if you're going out for dinner or something. So I wanted to kind of make sure that I did a good mix of really casual and a little bit more dressy. So this one is from Pretty Lavish and I absolutely love it. I got a size small and it's just like a nice v-neck cardigan with the buttons down the front. However, I actually undo quite a lot of the buttons and I wear it open. I've worn this with so many different things, but more specifically with these camel trousers and my trench coat and then just like some nice white trainers. So cute, so, so, so cute. But a really great way to add a little bit of interest to a top in the spring summer time because I think when we get to that time of year, it's really hard sometimes to just leave like your classic t-shirt and shorts or your t-shirt and jeans, sorry. So I think it's just a nice way to add a little bit of interest back into your wardrobe, especially if you're like me and you love a really plain vibe. Then I have a bit of a two-piece set that came in probably about a week ago. And honestly, I cannot wait to wear this, but I haven't yet found the right occasion, which is why, as you can see, it's still got tags on. I just haven't found the right time to wear it yet. So currently this hasn't even been featured on, I think any social media apart from a haul video. It's just a nice oversized long line waistcoat from River Island. I picked this one up in a size 10 and I actually should have sized down and got my normal size. It's about 45 pounds and it's really great quality for, you know, just a tailoring piece. So you could wear this with a satin skirt, with jeans, with trousers, you know, you could wear it multitude of different ways. And it's just really nice and I love the fact that it's this soft pink colour. If you're like me and you tend to opt for a slightly more dressy look with like a waistcoat for example, this is a really good option and it just, it brings that kind of like spring summer vibe into your wardrobe. And then it does actually have matching trousers. So I've put both in the video because I think as a set, gorgeous, but equally as separate because these would go with literally like anything on this rail. So like you could put it with this top for example and that's kind of the whole point of a capsule wardrobe is you want pieces that are very, very easy to mix and match and very easy to kind of cross between so they go together. As an outfit, I think stunning, so beautiful. The trousers are slightly more wide leg than the ones I already showed you, but again, really nice soft pink colouring and honestly, River Island tailoring is so good. These are from the um, River Island Studios, which is my favourite part of the River Island website. I think they just nail that kind of vibe and they have some really, really gorgeous pieces. A lot of the time they do some really good dupes of designer stuff as well. So if there's anything you've seen on somewhere a little bit more high end, they've probably done a really affordable version. Then we're not gonna talk too much about this one, but I've popped in a black blazer. We all know why I've popped in a black blazer. It's an essential, it's a classic, it goes with everything. And to be honest, you could chuck this over pretty much anything and it just works. So I tend to wear this as a jacket more so when we get to the slightly warmer part of spring because you know some days we have like a 16 17 plus degrees sometimes it's down to the tens or fives it really varies in the uk and i know it varies across the world but i really like having a black blazer year round i think they're just honestly a classic you could pop this with like pretty much anything as always so we're not going to talk too much about it but i just think this is a staple that every single person should have in their wardrobe regardless of their style then it will come as absolutely no surprise but i've popped in my weekday row jeans in the soft blue these are one of my 
my favourite pairs of denim ever and I thought I would include them in this video because as much as I do love, for example, what I'm wearing right now with the dark denims, I think blue denim into spring is just perfection. I really like it and I think it just softens up every single outfit. So like even wearing these with the black top and the black blazer would be so gorgeous. Like start with one of these bags, maybe some cream shoes or something. And it just helps to really bring an outfit to a little bit of a lighter tone. I honestly can't rave about these enough. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know these get worn 24 seven. I have the black and cream as well. So we're not gonna talk too much about them, but I do think blue denim is a great addition. Then as we near the end of the rail, we've only got three pieces left and then a couple of pairs of shoes. I thought I would pop in this skirt, which I haven't yet worn because it's a vintage purchase, but I just know that this is gonna be the most gorgeous thing in my spring wardrobe. And I think this is gonna come out a lot more than any other piece, to be honest. I've been trying to style it up a few ways in my wardrobe and I found it really easy so far, but it's just a gorgeous skirt from Dish. Now Dish skirts retail at about 90 pounds. I got this on Vinted for 15 pounds. It's perfect condition, it's gorgeous. It looks like this when it's on, like a, you know, on a, on a picture with an outfit. But I can't believe I got it for 15 pounds, to be honest, it's so beautiful. It's like a really nice linen, it's double lined, it's gorgeous. I don't know if they still sell it, I'll have a little look on the website, but I highly recommend checking out secondhand websites for stuff like this, because I could have spent 90 pounds on this skirt, and I didn't, I spent 15. So, highly recommend having a look, but I'm a big sucker for maxi skirts at the moment. It only really happened last year, but I just seem to really love wearing a maxi skirt with different things. So I had to pop it in this video because honestly, this with loafers, with the black top, with the black blazer, perfection, with the little vest, perfection, with the cardigan, perfection. There's just so many ways you can wear it. And I just think if not to buy things secondhand, buy things cheaper from different places, or, you know, make an investment because this is something that I would wear and will suit me for the rest of my life. Like I could wear this at any age and it will look good. Then another vintage purchase is this little top from Cos, which I've just realized has got a bit grubby in the washing machine. So I need to give it another wash, but it's a really cute little high neck cropped top. This I got brand new with tags for six pounds and it retails at I think about 30 something. So again, vintage, it's the place to go. I go there a lot for different pieces. Um, I am gonna do a whole video on how I shop on vintage and how I shop on secondhand sites. However, I did already do a designer one, which I'll leave linked down below and pop in the cards because I basically talked about how I source like various vintage designer pieces. But this one's great because it's just a nice, Little bit of something different. I wanted to mention something that wasn't the bodysuits and wasn't just like a classic t-shirt or something. So that's why I've tried to pop like different types of vests in here because I'm really, really trying to wear as much of my wardrobe as possible and trying to push my style out of its typical barriers at the moment, which I'm absolutely loving. Like I said, this one's great. High necks, it's a little bit warmer, gorgeous cropped fit, sleeveless. It just, it goes with everything and it's such a beautiful style to have. I really, really like this. And then last but not least, does it come as any surprise that I've popped a trench coat in? No, it doesn't. This is my vintage Burberry trench that I absolutely love. It comes out for most of the year, apart from winter and like height of summer, to be honest. And it's just a great, great addition to my wardrobe. Like I said, I'll leave my link in the description and stuff for my vintage designer, like sourcing authenticity video that I did before. But I just really like it. The trench coat is such a classic. It's not the warmest thing in the world, so I don't recommend necessarily wearing it if it's cold outside but it's a great layering piece if you want to pull together an outfit really nicely. I actually wear this quite a lot of the time over like leggings and a sports bra, but equally over a nicer outfit with like tailored trousers or something is really cute. I just, I think trench coats cannot be rated highly enough. There is so, so, so much inspiration online for how to wear these. I think Pinterest is literally covered in trench coat outfits, so you will never be short of inspiration. I'll leave some similar ones linked down below if you're looking for something more affordable. But if you want to source a vintage one, like I said, head to that video and it tells you all the details about how I do it, how I found like quality checks, etc. You just can't fault a trench coat. Okay, so we've got four pairs of shoes here, but as I say, I did do the year round capsule wardrobe video, so I recommend checking that out. That is kind of the pieces that still get worn on rotation alongside the seasonal capsule wardrobe. So things like my Doc Martin boots will still come out, my white trainers will still come out, but these are ones that specifically in spring I get a lot of wear out of, and I think. They're gonna be like my core shoes for this season, apart from obviously like the odd thing here and there that I get up to. So first up, we have my New Balance 550s. I sourced these secondhand a couple of years ago. They do desperately need a wash, but I think I'm gonna take them to a specialist shoe place because they've got the suede and I don't wanna ruin it. But these are the pink and cream colorway, which I thought would be a really good one to pop in because they're quite neutral but creamy. So they go with all the different color tones on this rail, but also they are a shoe that I tend to reach for quite often at the moment. So I think throughout spring, they're gonna be quite a good one this year. I just, I really like them. I like that they're really subtle pink. They're not very obvious. They're just 
so comfortable. I literally wore these around Berlin for an entire week and they didn't hurt my feet at all. Then we've got the Birkenstock Bostons. We know I love these. I do really want to get some black and some cream ones, but I picked up this green like khaki colorway a couple of years ago and I honestly wear them so much. They go with my wardrobe really well. And for saying they're not like a typical color that you'd go for, they're honestly so easy to style. Um, I'm really, really loving them. And these are the vegan leather ones. So vegan leather khaki, I'll link down below if I can, but they tend to go out of stock quite a lot. But I'm really looking for like, there's a tobacco colour that's like a really dark brown and then the black suede and then I really want some creamy ones. But I'm just going to keep checking vintage because someone will sell them at a really good price. I don't really care if they're heavily worn just because they look better heavily worn. But I really want to get my hands on some other colourways eventually. Um, but these ones do come in really handy. They're a great shoe. They look so nice with like little socks and stuff and there's just so many ways you can style them. Again, I recommend checking Pinterest for outfit ideas because there's so many out there, but they're such a good shoe. Then we've got my loafers. Again, I've had these for a really long time and I just wear them so much. They're really, really comfortable. Such a classic. These are from H&M. I don't know if they still sell them, so I'll link the same, if not similar, depending whether they're still available. But chunky loafers are great. They smarten up an outfit really nicely. They look really good. And I just think they're a classic shoe, to be honest. Ever since I got them, they've just come out year upon year. And I just don't think they're going to go away anytime soon. Because year round, season round, these babies are coming out. And then last but not least, we all know that England is not necessarily the warmest at this time of year. And I think through spring, we do tend to get those chilly days, but we get warmer days. I arguably think you could wear these with a t-shirt and jeans really easily, but they do look really great layered up as well. And it's these, which these are actually dupes of the Arg Tasmans. I'll link a video where I styled them for winter up above, but I really like these. I didn't pay out for the real ones because quite honestly, I'm on a money saving hype at the moment and I don't want to be spending out for like £100 shoes. So I picked up these dupes for £30 from Ego and they honestly... They look exactly the flipping same. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference, I don't think. But they're really, really comfortable. They look really good with so many outfits. And honestly, these are arguably one of my favourite shoes for this time of year. Because I've been wearing these with socks, like ankle socks, leggings, sports bra, trench coat. And then one of these bags, 10 out of 10. Looks so cute. But I highly recommend checking out the dupes. Because I think sometimes online we're so like drawn into buying all these really expensive things and actually sometimes the dupes are just as good but that's it for today's video guys i really hope you enjoyed seeing my spring capsule wardrobe i honestly just don't think i can fault any of these pieces i think they're going to mix and match really nicely and i really love getting back into making these videos so if you like the capsule wardrobes let me know i'll leave a link down below to my playlist of all my previous ones not gonna lie my style has changed a little bit in the last couple of years but that's basically like where you'll get, you know, the bulk of inspiration and past years, etc. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more from me, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.